I 19F refused to give a teddy to my younger sister 10F. I had a teddy which was very close to my heart as I have no contact with the one who gave it to me. Yesterday, my cousin's sister came into my room when there was an event going in the backyard and took that teddy to play with. When she was about to take it with herself to her house, I said no to her but now I feel that it was very childish of me to do that. I feel bad. My boyfriend 19M made me feel worse about it. Should I have just let her take it? Edit, thank you everyone for commenting. I feel much better than I did before. OMG I would never, ever ever let someone take my stuffed teddy bear. My late grandmother gave him to me. You do not need to feel bad. Just because she liked the teddy and she's a little girl doesn't give her any right. If you really feel bad, which I don't think you should, buy the girl a little teddy of her own. And, dot all kids understand how important teddy bears are, I'm sure she would understand if you put it to her like that. No. It's yours and it means something to you. You don't have to let her take your things because she's young. NTA. That is yours. I have my precious childhood stuffy on a literal shelf. It's not going to anyone who isn't my child. It doesn't really matter what the object is, that's a hard no. And your boyfriend should be more sensitive to that. Don't give up a precious childhood memento to a child to whom it means nothing. You're fine, your younger sister, cousin, was wrong by not only playing with it without permission but trying to take it with her. She's old enough to know that you don't take things that don't belong to you. It's a transitional object. The way they work psychologically is that you can pass them on when you're ready, but if you're forced to do it before you're ready, it can seriously hurt you to lose it without your consent. This is your stuffed toy, so of course you're attached to it. Please don't feel pressured to give it up unless you want to. Did she have permission to go into your room? Don't feel guilty I too have a teddy bear I wouldn't let any touch. Your teddy. My wife is 42 and still has her childhood teddy, that is in our bed. I would end up dead, kidding, if I gave it away. It is a sentimental thing. No one can tell you to give it up or call it childish. From a learning experience, it was really good Yoi put down a boundary with your cousin. It is very important that she learns she can't just take things that don't belong to her, much less without asking. I have babysat for a very long time, as well as took babysitting classes and child development classes. I have a few games that belong to me, that I got specifically to babysit. However I always let the children know that these toys are mine, and I brought them to share. It shows them the benefits of sharing, but also to respect other people's things. Go find a teddy at the store, one that is soft and squishy, and give it to her. Tell her you want her to have one because you love yours so much, and you know how she feels. Little ones are usually much more forgiving. It's more about how you make them feel. Does your boyfriend has a video game system? If yes tell him to give OT away to some kids. I bet he will refuse. I have two very precious stuffed animals, I have my unicorn from when I was 10 that my late grandmother gave me and my wash that my boyfriend gave me after I got out of the hospital this past summer. My nieces and nephew, who range in ages from 6 to 10, do not touch my stuffies because they know they mean something to me. Op your little cousin shouldn't have touched it, and your boyfriend should never have made you feel bad for not wanting her to take it. It's yours and it has a lot of meaning to you. She went into your room, without permission and stole an item from there, and proceeded to play with it and intended to keep it. To allow the child to take it would be wrong. And your boyfriend should shut up. It's your teddy and has sentimental value tied to someone. And seriously, she's 10? She's way old enough to know better than to do this and realize she can't have everything she wants. This is behavior I'd expect from a 5-year-old. Gah. From the headline I literally thought you were talking about lingerie and was thinking, yeah that seems inappropriate to give to a kid. NTA. It's yours, and holds sentimental value to you. Like, there are whole studies and reports about how stuffed animals, items from your childhood are important things toes to your developmental status. People call them childish, but they let things go when they're ready. Also, this cousin or sister or whoever went in your room, didn't ask to play with your things, and was very sure this object was hers for the taking. Without running it by you or asking in the first place. If she wants a bear, her parental units can buy one for her. Online or in a store, not the one that has sent to me not the asshole L value to you. No assholes here except slight boyfriend being the asshole for making you feel bad. Hell no. 
I'm 29 and I have a super old bear named Mr. Snuggles. My nieces and nephews have played with him in the past but if they wanted to keep him I'd put my foot down. They have plenty of stuffies and aren't entitled to mine just because they're younger. My teddy bear was my younger brother's first one he received after being born, it accompanied him to all his chemo treatments and stayed next to him in the hospital 24-7 and it went with me to his funeral. I have made my nephew cry from yelling because the bear is 21 years old now and won't survive children anymore. The sentimental value is worth so much more than a few hours of entertainment for your cousin, don't feel bad and tell your boyfriend to suck it. No, you weren't being childish. It has special meaning to you. It's also good to teach young children they don't always get what they want, to be considerate of others' items at least that's how I see it. No it's yours. Fuck them kids. No dot you weren't wrong. Kids should not be encouraged to walk out with anything they want especially when it belongs to someone else. You are not childish. I hide my teddies and stuffed animals when kids come over to my house because I can't risk them taking it away. By the way I am 34 F. Um no. Kids don't just get to take your precious possessions because they want them. Your boyfriend is being an ass. No, it has sentimental value to you and I can't help but think that her boyfriend is kinda an asshole for not understanding that. I have items of sentimental value that I don't want anyone else to use. The items themselves might not be worth much, and that's where my reluctance to let someone else use them comes in. If they're not worth much how can I trust that someone else is going to be respectful of them? I had to learn this the hard way after I had some items destroyed by someone I loaned them to, against my own judgment but pressured by some family member or friend. And then when it was destroyed to have that person dismissively say, it's only a, blank, it doesn't matter. I don't loan things I value anymore. I will only loan something if it doesn't mean much to me. Is she your cousin or your sister? First of all your boyfriend doesn't know shit about stuffies. And second, why the hell should you feel bad about someone trying to steal something close to you? Children don't give back toys. LMAO had the same situation my sister tried to make me give her daughter my original Pokemon cards my niece, and I told my sister to lick my balls. Some things are sentimental so the little ones can fuck off. I've had my teddy, patches, since I was 10. I'm now 28. I have a baby girl and people ask me if I'm gonna give him to her. Nope. I'm sorry but that's my teddy. You did nothing wrong. Fuck what anyone else says. Bears are a different sort of special attachment, I could never part w mine. No way. I have a stuffed wolf that's very important to me, and I'd never let anyone have it. Whether or not it's important to you, no one else is allowed to take it, it's your bear. No you're not in the wrong. Why would she just assume she would be allowed to take it? Her parents need to work on that. I know I'm late to the party, but no. Don't feel bad. I am 20 M, and I have a polar bear I've had for as long as I can remember. He hold immense sentimental value to me, and I would be devastated if anything happened to him. He's been around the world with me, through college, currently right next to me, and there no way I would give him to my little sister 7 F. She wanted him, but I went out and bought a different one so that way she could have one. That one can be hers, but not mine. No way, you have to have boundaries. Something precious to you is that way for a reason. You don't have to make your things available for others ever. In this case, a small child acted without social knowledge don't steal and you corrected it. You are kind to think twice about it but that teddy is special to you and you don't owe it to your cousin. Boundaries. A 10 year old is old enough to know better. A 3 year old I could understand trying to take the teddy home but this girl knows better. I will get my elderly mother's teddy when she passes away. Mom and teddy are 82, bear. You should not have to give up something that's sentimental. I gave my sister a teddy bear my boyfriend, now ex, gave to me after she begged me for it and then she traded it for a bag of skittles. So children can't be trusted. Regardless if it's a stuffed animal or jewelry, it's sentimental and has a special meaning to you. I think it's a great teaching moment though, and if you do feel bad, talk to her. Say something along the lines of, this was given to me by someone very special to me, and I don't, can't see them anymore, so this reminds me of them. If you really like Teddy, what if we go out and get, make you one too, and then it'll be your own very special Teddy, and they can even be sisters like us. I don't have younger siblings, nor do I have much experience with 10-year-olds, but switch up the wording however you like to match your sister's maturity level. It's yours. 
She's old enough to know not to steal. Why is it your BFS business? What stakes does he have in all of this? I still have my bear 36 female he sits on my dresser next to my husband's bear 41 male our kids gently play with them but they each have their own bears that are dear to them. Don't feel guilty at all. I am 40 years old and I have a stuffed dog that I've had since I was 3. No one touches it, let alone plays with it. My boyfriend still has a blanket he had when he was a baby, and I still have my stuffed animal my mother got when she found out she was pregnant. This is an item special and specific to you, someone you love gave that to you, and you have a special connection with it. If your boyfriend made you feel bad about it, you need to sit down with him and have a similar conversation on the importance of your teddy. You're never too old to have a childhood keepsake, please remember. That. I too, have a teddy that I hold very dearly and cannot sleep without it. When my siblings touch it and or move it away from my bed, I smack their hand gently, tell them to ask, and either put it back on my bed or let them play with it for a bit. You do not have to give your teddy to a 10-year-old, they should know at that age that they can't keep everything they like. We all have something we keep dear to us. Also, the fact that your boyfriend made you feel worse kinda got me feeling a little a towards him. No, you're allowed to be protective of your belongings. Even if you weren't emotionally connected to it, kids need to learn that they can't just take whatever they want. Absolutely not, you're not obligated to give anyone your toys just because they're much younger than you, especially if the teddy is very sentimental to you. Ask her stuff like, how would you feel if I took your favorite animal, and, wouldn't you feel sad if I wanted your favorite animal and was mad at you about it? Teaching empathy through questions is extremely important for little ones to learn. I had a stuffed monkey mom gave to me. Had it since I was three but my cousin stole it and destroyed it. Don't. Just don't give it to her. That's yours. You are in no way required to give anyone anything that belongs to you, especially something of great sentimental value. I don't have a bear, but a doll. She is my one link to my maternal grandmother, she gave her to me when I was only a year old. I left her with my family in my childhood home and moved to another state. A fire occurred in my childhood home that I thought had destroyed her. By the grace of whatever higher power exists she was spared from the flames. My paternal grandmother cleaned and fixed her up and I got her back. She's never leaving my side again and I'm the only one allowed to move or touch her. Here is how I see it. Any teddy bear would be the same to your cousin. But only that specific teddy bear means anything to you. Even if you let her have it, it wouldn't be the same to her as it is to you so you would be giving up something far more precious than they would receive. It would be like giving someone $10 but they only receive a dime. Nope, 54-year-old man here and I still miss one particular stuffy from two very special people. Nothing wrong at all. Plus, 10 is more than old enough to understand this.